What's up guys? I'm back with another movie review today. I'm here to talk about another one from Twilight Time Movies and this one is Sword of Sherwood Forest. So this is a Robin Hood movie obviously as you can tell from the title. In this one uh, there's a fugitive who's on the run from the Sheriff of Nottingham and his men. He gets shot in the back but he manages to stay on his horse and stay uh, pretty close to being alive anyway. Uh, makes it into the forest and of course there he's you know, uh, eventually found by Robin Hood and his merry men who take him in. Uh, while he, while they're uh, taking this injured man into into their care, uh, they run across Maid Marian, who's taking a cool dip, and of course she and Robin exchange some uh, flirtatious uh, banter, and then eventually, of course, word reaches the sheriff of Nottingham that you know this guy's probably been taken in by Robin Hood. Uh, the Maid Marian is kind of wanting Robin Hood to kind of give up this life in the woods with his friends and become a you know normal person of society again for some reason. So she is convinced that the sheriff would grant him a full pardon, which would allow him to leave that life behind and maybe lead a life with her. Uh, the sheriff here is played by Peter Cushing, which is probably the main draw of the movie. Uh, he comes into the forest for a meeting with uh, Robin Hood, offers him a ton of money to turn the guy over. Of course, Robin Hood won't do it. He says, well, what if I give you a full pardon? Robin, had, Robin Hood says, sit on it. He's not going to take that either. And the rest of the movie is just uh, the sheriff trying to one-up Robin Hood, one-up Robin Hood trying to one-up him, and that's kind of the story here. Um, this is an interesting movie. It's a Hammer. It's by Hammer Films who are probably most famous for their horror movies with Christopher Lee, Peter Cushing. You know, uh, they had a very deep roster of horror movies that are huge hits even now with uh, with genre fans. But this is not their only Robin Hood movie. They did make some other ones, but I do think based on what I read, this is the most uh, kind of high profile one of them. I actually didn't like it that all that well. Um, I think it's well made. I think it has some beautiful, unbelievable scenery. Like it's a really beautiful movie from that perspective. Um, but I just couldn't connect with the story. I didn't find it to be that interesting. There's not very much uh, action, even in like the, you know, kind of Robin Hood uh, swashbuckle type action. There's just not much of that here. Uh, the characters are kind of okay, but nothing, uh, none of the performances really stand out. None of the characters are that interesting. None. The storyline is okay, I guess, but it seems like it should almost be like a TV episode, you know, like Robin Hood and the Sheriff, butt heads again, and you know that's it that's pretty much all that happens uh there's kind of a little neat coy romance between robin and marion but it's uh downplayed uh robin hood is played by richard green who does a okay job but he's really not that charismatic or at least that's how i picture robin hood is this, this you know smooth talking you know suave debonair rogue and he doesn't do that here he just seems like kind of some guy's dad it's just not all that interesting uh, where I think the movie really loses where it could have been good, though, was with Peter Cushing. I love the idea of him as the Sheriff of Nottingham. Uh, if he would have been able to just choose scenes and had these amazing lines and really played up the villain part, th I think this movie could have been great, even if everything else was the same. But that doesn't happen. He has a very restrained performance here, uh, probably to keep in line with the rest of the cast. It's a real missed opportunity. I think if he would have just done a no-holds-barred, go-for-broke performance as the sheriff, it would have gotten people to, you know, kept this movie in the public eye. At the end of the day, it's not a bad movie. Like I said, it has beautiful scenery. The performances are okay. If you're a big Robin Hood fan, maybe you'll appreciate the story more. Uh, you know, I am a big Robin Hood fan, though, so I don't know how accurate that is. Uh, but if you're a Hammer Films fan, you might want to check this out just for completionist's sake. Or if you're a fan of Peter Cushing, you might want to give it a look. Um, it's definitely watchable, but it's just not that great. It's just not that entertaining. The Blu-ray from Twilight Time looks good. It looks really solid. I don't know that it's a new uh, scan or anything. It doesn't look eye-popping or particularly that great, but it looks good. The outdoor scenery looks beautiful. The details fine. Uh, colors and contrast all look fine. The extras is just the trailer and the isolated sound and music track. So not a loaded disc. Um, I do want to say, though, that because it is a Hammer Films release, you never know. It might be one that might sell just because there's a lot of Hammer fans out there. So this is a limited edition of 3,000 discs, so you might want to keep that in mind and maybe grab it, uh, you know, the first couple times it goes on sale, uh, you know, just, just to be safe. Because some of these Twilight Time ones do go out of print and end up it costing a little bit more money down the road. So that's my review of Sword of Sherwood Forest. It's okay, but nothing spectacular. If you want to read my full review, you can go to my website, markfusion.com, to read that tons of other movie reviews there's also hundreds of movie reviews right here in the youtube playlist uh, but the best thing you do to help me out is just to hit that sub button it's an easy free direct way to support me helping to keep making these videos and if you want to go the super duper extra mile when you do visit my website you can use the links there uh, to go to amazon and i'll get us a little bit of that money back from them i'll use that to buy more movies to make more reviews 
and there you go so thank you so much for watching this review of sword of sherwood forest i like to think of myself as the robin hood of youtube so it seems like a fitting review that's not like narcissistic or anything all right thanks for watching guys i do appreciate it hope i'll see you guys soon